Hello and welcome to the Skynet Terminator Model T600. The Terminator Series T600 is a Terminator Series mass produced by Skynet starting in 2016. The T600 Terminators serve as early infiltrators featuring basic combat endoskeletons made of titanium alloy which are sometimes covered in synthetic latex as a result of their rubber skin covering. Resistance fighters could easily spot the T-600s in the field. Specification The T-600 is a human-side infiltrator that heralds Skynet's shift from the use of non-humanoid hunter-killers to the humanoid hunter-killer unit that would become known as the Terminator. They were mass-produced humanoid battle units manufactured by Skynet from the original designs and test models constructed by Cyberdyne Systems Corporation. Standing almost 6 feet tall and weighing almost 800 pounds, the T-600's endoskeleton is very powerful and can lift objects almost 5 times its own weight or punch through concrete and metal with no damage to its reinforced servos. The T-600 series is capable of running at a constant speed of almost 60 miles per hour, with short bursts up to 75 miles an hour. However, these burst speeds tax the servos and the joints of the leg assemblies. Due to the lack of technological advancement at the time of their conception and the nature of Skynet's logic, the Series 600 Terminator is fabricated with smooth latex rubber skin to hide its mechanics rather than the living tissue that would be used by the successor Series 800 Terminator. This fact makes the Series 600 Terminators easy to recognize and thus disable. However, the rubber skin was certainly effective in cases of limited visibility. The Series 600 were the infiltrators that triggered the design of the Series 700 Terminators, which evolved into the Series 800 Terminator. Essentially, the Series 600 Terminator can be considered a streamlined and lightweight version of the T500 Terminator, with improvements to its CPU and complete redesign of the head to allow for a near-human look and working jaw. This design was carried over to the successors of the unit, such as the T-800. This was probably because the human-like endoskeleton made it easier for the living flesh covering of the later Terminators to actually look like there was an actual human skeleton beneath, unlike previous bulkier models, which might have made the covering bulge or droop in impossible places. Thank you for watching the Skynet Terminator model T-600. Special thanks to Terminator Fandom for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can, if you have. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.